Hey guys, what's going on? So today we are going to be taking another look at my Maxpedition Mini. Uh, I guess it would call it a pocket organizer, but it's not really a pocket organizer. It's just a little too big. I mean, you could drop this into a cargo pocket or something like that. But other than that, it's, it's just really big. But these things are great. So these things got 1,050 denier nylon. That's what they're made out of. And that stuff is very, very tough. They got YKK zippers, and they can be completely stuffed and still hold shut. So, like this thing, dude. This thing is packed. So, up front, we have our little first pouch. It's an external pouch. It's hard to get things in there. Sometimes I'll put uh, business cards in there or something like that. It does have a little piece of Velcro up here, but I have it so stuffed that I can't make use of that pouch so that's all right and right here i have a morale patch it's just a max edition one it just velcros to their little uh i don't know velcro patch spot and it's pretty cool because you can put stuff on there help you identify which one's which if you have multiple ones me and my wife both have one of these so it's nice to know which one's mine all right so we'll open it up this things or these pouches they come with paracord poles on them and sometimes you do have to retie the knot and tie it a little tighter. But I haven't had to do that with these per this particular pouch yet. I had to do that with my Maxpedition Beefy. Um, it did come untied, but eh, that's pretty simple. You know, it's not real hard to do. So, unzip it. And here we go. So, if you guys look, I did modify and cut off that little flap. It was a... Uh, a little what do they call them things key keeper it come down and had a clip on it because that thing was flapping all over and reality was I wasn't even using it so I just cut it off and burnt it but I left this little loop because a mini sharpie fits right up in there so you just take and slide it in that little loop and it fits perfectly so it gives you an extra storage pouch so that's the first thing here we go we got a Fisher Space Pen. This is just happens to be my really old, uh, really old one. You guys can see it's all tarnished brass and it's <laughs> it's pretty old, but it keeps going. So I got a new pocket clip for it, so I can help keep it in here and keep it from sliding around. And I have a full size Bic lighter. I prefer the ones that are a brighter color in case I set them down or drop them. That way I can kind of find them. And the child protective little thing is still on there that little spring um, you can remove those but I do have children and they do understand the concept of how to strike a lighter so now I have to leave those on so and if I wanted to I could pull it off but I'm gonna leave that on there for now and this right here this is my little fire signal kit and I have an SOL little slim rescue howler whistle it seems really loud make sure if you guys get a whistle you test it out you get a couple different ones and you find one that you like because I noticed that I, out of the five whistles I've tested this is the one I like so and right here we have a tops signal mirror now <laughs> these things are pretty sweet it's a the dog tag basically that is like chrome plated and has a little rubber thing around it so if you lost like a fire striker you could take this rubber thing off and actually strike your fire steel with it but it would mar up your signal mirror so use caution if you do that these things are great you get like a five pack on amazon they don't really cost anything and you can throw them in a lot of little kits so i i really like those and this is a little magnifying glass that i got out of a Koglin's multi-tool that it was one of those whistles that had a thermometer it had a whistle it had a compass it had what else I have on there and a magnifying glass probably had something else on there but I tore it apart because I wanted to condense it down and there'll be various parts throughout this kit that came from that but it works out great because I can throw that right on my little uh, I don't know little bead keychain thing and the tops came with this little uh i don't know black coated thing it even says usa right on this piece right here so that's kind of cool 
All right, next up we have, this is just a little uh, Stanley pry bar that I got from like a hardware store or something. And I cut the hook end off because it would poke all my gear on this other side. So I took and cut that off with a hacksaw and then just belt sanded a little end on there. And it works out great. This thing is really nice and really handy for pulling up small nails or opening paint cans or just doing stuff you don't want to use your knife for. You know, don't don't break your knife tip because that's a very useful tool. So just get one of these. They're pretty cheap. And this is a extendable magnet. So it's got a little neodymium magnet on the end. And I use this for taking stuff out of a, like if I have a bunch of nails in my campfire, you know, I'll pull those nails out so people aren't, you know, stepping on them. Or if I'm out where somebody could possibly drive, nobody's going to get a flat tire. And most of all, I use it for picking up screws of bits and pieces. I'll take something apart and I'll drop them down and I can't find it. Well, I'll just run this magnet around and I find all the pieces I've dropped. So these things are really useful. Don't let your kids play with them because they break them. But, <laughs> all right. So actually, we'll go back here. So we got some Gorilla Tape. And it's just wrapped around, I think, this card is a Verizon wireless gift card. <laughs> so, save those, put some Gorilla Tape on them, and throw them in a pack. Because it doesn't take up much room, and it can save the day. Especially if you're moving a washer. Alright. Now we got our Right in the Rain notebook. So, these things are pretty good. This is just a Right in the Rain number uh, 935. It's one of my favorite notebooks out there. So, I don't know if I got anything written down in here. Nope, nothing written there. And on the back, I still have a little pocket ruler. So, I took a pocket ruler and I cut it down with a saw. So it would fit in here diagonally. And then I just masking taped it on there. So that gives me a straight edge to use. And I, I do know there's a ruler on the back of this. But then I'd have to tear my piece of paper out in order to use it. So with uh, that little ruler in the back it gives me a ruler it gives me a little thing to fish down in a crack to get something out of it so if i drop something down in here i could just put take that ruler and push it in there so that's what's that i think that's this side all right now we're on to the next side this right here is a i think it's like a blood vial or a blood test tube or something like that you can buy a bunch of them off amazon and that's where i got these they're not watertight unless you would put an o-ring up in the tip but it doesn't have to be watertight this is where I just keep my various little long items so I have a big uh, sewing needle so I keep that in there and just in case I need to stitch something up usually it's like a paracord bracelet or something like that I need to push something through it so I keep that in there so it doesn't poke my gear up then I keep a little striker that I got with one of my ferro rods so I just keep that in there. And here's a ferro rod right here. You can see I've been striking on it, doing campfires. Haven't put an, uh, a Kydex end on this yet, but it's all right. Got this from, I think, like firesteel.com. Pretty good uh, fire steels for the price. So, And then I have a pair, it's a full size pair of tweezers. So I just take, and take a piece of a straw and just pinch them down and shove it in. There you go, and it protects your tip. So that's what's inside of here. And this just fits right down in one of these little uh, elastic loops really well. So I'll probably have to get a couple more of these and then I can make a pretty cool little kit. And right here we have a high vision bandana. So this is just a cheap one. You know, it's 100% cotton right here. This is just the, the maker of it. It's made in China, but I go through bandanas really fast, and I hate to buy a really expensive one if I'm just going to trash it and trash it in a month. So, and I do switch these bandanas out a lot. So, but I do like the high vision ones because it gives me multiple purposes I can use it for. Just make sure if you guys are going to put these in your kit, you do wash them before you put them in because this leached out a lot of chemicals in my wife's dryer <laughs> and washer. So, <laughs> yeah, that wasn't a good talk. So, all right, and right here we have a Victorinox 
Swiss Army knife. This just happens to be the Huntsman model. And it's got a lot of stuff on it. You guys should check out my previous review. You know, it's got tweezers, toothpick, corkscrew. It's got a little needle right there. And it's got a parcel hook. It's got an awl. It's got a can opener screwdriver and bottle opener, wire stripper. Uh, but most of all, I wanted the knife blade, the scissors, and the saw. Because these saws, oh, there's some stuff on there, some water. But these saws are really awesome. So if you guys haven't ever used one of these, check them out. They're awesome for making little traps, especially if you use hardwood to make your trigger devices. That's one little thing I do because the hardwood, um, it doesn't break out so you can use a better spring, uh, better tree spring. So, But that's what I got for that. It's a cool little knife. I'm looking for a fixed blade knife that I can fit in here. I just haven't found one yet, so if you guys know of any, let me know and I will check them out. And this right here, this little Altoid small tin. This just happens to have some fishing hooks taped under here. And looks like I got two brass safety pins. Uh, I got a couple little paper clips in here, probably about three or four of them. There we go. Got a little bobbin of fishing line. I got some like micro paracord. I got some Kevlar cord. This stuff's really cool. Check that stuff out. And I have a little button compass. This thing came out of the Koglin's uh, little survival whistle. <laughs> so if you guys are interested, I could show you how to tear one of those apart. And you get a pretty decent liquid-filled compass out of it. I couldn't find a compass locally, and that's how I had to go about doing it. I just didn't want to spend, you know, $13 on a button compass. So maybe next time I order some stuff and then they have one, I'll order a couple of them with it. So, but it actually does work. It does point north. So, and here is that little thermometer that come out of that. <laughs> I don't know why that's in here, but it is actually accurate so if you guys can see that that's pretty cool so I just keep all this stuff in here and uh, I have seen people actually make incorporate these into their kydex sheaths and I might give that a try so might be something you guys can look forward to so what else do we got I think this is about it so oh yep so this is the last of it this is a sensi tin it's like a travel tin for your car it's just a little slider tin. And I like to keep those UCO stormproof matches in here. And as you guys can see, it holds about 20 stormproof matches. And then I like to face the striker away from the match heads like this and put it in there. So these things are awesome. They're water resistant. So if this does get wet, it doesn't really matter. But if the striker gets wet, that's where the problem is. So. You don't want your striker to get wet. If your striker gets wet, you'll have to dry it out before you can use it. And that's why I got that ferro rod and that tube and that striker. So I like to have a couple of the other ways, you know, a big lighter and stuff. But these things are awesome. And it's pretty cool to light a campfire with one of these if you have little kids. <laughs> so that is my update on my Maxpedition Mini little organizer. These things are fantastic. If you guys have a lot of little bits and bits of gear and stuff like that, check them out because these things do make your life a lot easier and it makes you a lot more proficient. So if you guys like my video, I appreciate it. If you guys know of anything else I should put in here or take out and switch out with better gear, let me know and I will look into that. And, you know, if you guys subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. Later.